YouTube. So I'm here today to show y'all uh, how to tell the difference between different types of metal. I know a lot of y'all, when I mean, y'all are taking stuff to the junkyard, a lot of you don't know what, uh, what the difference is between the different types of metals. So there's a few easy tests you can do to uh, tell what it is. So the first, the simplest, is to grab your magnet and just start sticking it on stuff. If it sticks, it's uh, either steel, stainless, bronze, or some other thing. Alright, so uh, you got a piece of glass here, you stick your magnet on it, that ain't, that ain't uh, sticking, so you know that ain't steel. This thing here, if you stick your magnet on it, it will stick. That is steel. That's simple. What I'm trying to do is uh, sort through that box of crap right there. So, you get your magnet, stick it on stuff, steel through it in your steel, steel bin. Sometimes you can have situations too where you get this brass bucket where it's not sticking and all of a sudden it's thick because there's a steel ring in here so as of now this thing here is dirty brass okay so uh there's a few more tests you can do because this ain't going to tell you everything because you can have a situation where this doesn't stick And this doesn't stick. So these are two different types of metals. Well, how do you tell which is which from here? Well, you hang it down. You get yourself a grinder. Some people use a file. I like the grinder. It works easier. So you got this is a piece of stainless. When you hit the stainless, it's going to spark. Uh, sort of red, but there's not going to be a whole lot of sparking. If you hit steel, like if I were to hit this file, it's going to throw a whole lot of, a whole lot of uh, red sparks. That's how you tell the difference when you hit them with the grinder. What you got here piece of aluminum. When you hit this with the grinder, it, uh, it's not going to spark. The only thing that sticks to your magnet is steel, some stainless, and bronze. So again, aluminum ain't going to stick. So the next thing, it could be, you could have a piece of brass yellow brass, when you hit it with the grinder, is not going to spark, and it's going to be yellow on the inside, everywhere where you hit it with the grinder. If it's a red brass, but it's still chrome, it's still a yellow brass. So then you got your copper which is usually pretty soft, and you can bend it easily. When you hit copper with the grinder, it's not going to spark, and it's going to be a different color than, than your brass. So, I normally stick them up against each other and compare them. So I'm sort of colorblind and can't tell the difference. So this piece is brass, this one's copper. It's easier to tell in person than on the camera. That's how you can tell. Then, another piece you, get, you could see is uh, this, 
piece right here. This is brass, but it's a different kind of brass than that brass. When you hit this brass with the grinder, it's going to be more red. I'm sort of colorblind, and I can't tell the difference. But when you look at it closely, I don't know if we can, uh, this thing's going to focus. But you see how it's more textured. Red brass is usually more textured, and it's usually in, uh, like pipe fittings. Now, if it says Taiwan or Italy, it's probably going to be a yellow brass. This, you tell the same way of hitting it with a grinder, and if you can see colors, yellow brass will be yellow and red will be red. That's pretty much your uh, basic metals. So I'm going to demonstrate spark test here, and uh, you'll be able to see what the sparks look like. Now, sometimes you'll run into situations where you have two different types of metals, right? They look the same when you hit them to be able to tell they're different. So when you give this to your scrapyard guy and he buys it for dirty, don't get mad at him because you didn't check it and you just assume. That's generally why a lot of yards to go for people because things like this. So I'm gonna fire up this generator and you're gonna see the spark test. Alright, so if we noticed here, I hit all them things with the grinder. This one is stainless, it sparked a little bit, not a whole lot, and you can tell the difference between this and the spark coming off of this. This one's steel. When I hit this, this piece here, I got a brass tube. And then there was a lot of sparks coming off of this. This one's steel. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that off, and then this will be clean yellow brass. When I hit this one, the, uh, the main part of it is brass. 
that's brass, and that's brass. But when you hit this, it's white. It didn't spark, and it's not magnetic. So this piece here is some sort of zinc or die cast. You're gonna go ahead and pull this off of here. Now this is a piece of clean yellow brass. You got this uh, brass paw here. This handle is yellow brass. You can see there. This piece here is yellow brass. But this is copper. So that's good for me. But it's got a steel ring in here. So that would be dirty. You got here a piece of copper. That's what copper looks like. If it'll focus. And then this piece here is the red brass. Some people see that red. Others don't. I don't know. I can't see it. But you can tell by the texture and the application once you get good enough. Then you got your aluminum piece here. It's kind of white. And the material is really light. So that's how you tell if it's aluminum. And this piece here is deceiving. You think it's aluminum, but when you flip it over, you can tell that there's all sorts of, it's like a rough textured thing, like the red brass. These are generally die cast, which generally go for a cheaper price. I don't know why, but they do. It's pretty hard to tell when you're inexperienced. So, uh, that's how you soar through buckets of crap like that. I hope this helped some of y'all beginner scrappers. If not, oh well.